Claims data is just one type of data that is common in healthcare. The other most common type of healthcare data is medical data. This type of data is different from claims data as it typically includes all kinds of biologically relevant information and measurements, such as the result of a blood test and notes from healthcare providers on the medical status of a patient. However, medical data does not lend itself as well for large-scale analysis compared to claims data, because medical data is often too heterogeneous, not sufficiently standardized, and often contains a lot of natural human language in the form of medical notes. It therefore requires more intensive pre-processing when compared to claims data before meaningful big data analysis can be conducted. To illustrate the difference between claims data and medical data, let us use the following example of Mr. John Smith that has undergone an operation at a hospital. In such a case, both medical data and claims data are generated. As we can see from this table, there is a lot of overlap between medical data and claims data when reporting about the same event. Most electronic health record systems will automatically integrate medical data and claims data in order to avoid double work, such as filling in the patient name once for the medical data system and once for the claims data system. However, there are also significant differences between medical data and claims data with regards to the same event. In the next table, we can see that certain medical information is entered and stored that is relevant for medical purposes. Note that the medical information in this example is unstructured. Before the surgery, the blood pressure is reported in numbers. After the surgery, the blood pressure is reported in part in letters. Thus, the data is not consistent. We can also see that a note from the doctor is entered in the form of natural human language and also contains typos. This is just one example as to why medical data, though useful for analyzing individual patients, may be harder to use for the analysis of large groups of patients. On the other hand, we can see that the claims data is simpler, but consists of more structured data, such as rigid codes, numbers, and unambiguous yes or no answers. For this reason, even a hospital that possesses medical data will often prefer to use the claims data that it has generated to analyze and compare the performance of different doctors, departments, and patient groups.